Hey everybody, Jay at Lock and Lube, and today I am very excited to introduce our brand new pressure return valve. Now this is a product that is made to be compatible with Milwaukee, DeWalt, or Lincoln cordless grease guns. And it solves the issue of the pressure lock that these guns create when you hit a clogged grease fitting. So you all have that experience of going to grease a Zerk and finding out that it doesn't take grease because these guns so immediately build so much pressure that before you know it, it's cycled two or three times and you've got 10,000 pounds of back pressure in the hose and it's really hard to get the grease coupler to disconnect from that fitting. So with our block, which you can see installed on these two guns and right here in my hand, what you have is the ability to return all that back pressure, take all that grease that's sitting in the hose and bring it right back into your tube of grease. So that means no wasted grease, no mess, and a really clean, easy disconnect from those clogged grease fittings. So we don't have our pressure return valve installed on this Milwaukee yet. So we're gonna go ahead and show you what the current state looks like, right? What it looks like to hit a clogged grease fitting with any cordless grease gun. We'll get these moved out of the way. This ready to go. Get our eye protection on. And this pressure gauge here is a closed system, right? So it mimics what, it, what a clogged grease fitting would be, right? Which is a dead end. We're at about 12,000, 11,000 PSI right now. So both the Milwaukee and the lock and loop grease coupler over delivering on their 10,000 PSI promise. Uh, no grease leaking out. But what we've got now is a closed system with 11,000 PSI of grease built up in it. When we disconnect this grease coupler, all that grease has to go somewhere. And that's where you're gonna get that huge wad of grease that comes out, makes a mess, means you gotta clean out all around that grease fitting so it doesn't start collecting all the dirt and dust and grime. And in addition, it's also gonna lead to premature failure on the seal kit in the coupler. Because when you push 10, 11, 12,000 PSI through a tiny pinhole again and again and again, eventually that seal will wear out. And without that, the seal can last for years and years and years and years. Here we go, we'll disconnect this. I'm gonna use both hands for it because we got a lot of pressure in there. Grease coupler comes off, and as you can see, huge mess, a lot of grease. We dropped down to zero in our system here, so now we wasted all that grease, we made all that mess. We're gonna put our pressure return valve on the gun and show you what this experience looks like with the brand new Lock & Lube pressure return valve. All right, so now that we're connected, uh, we've got our pressure return valve installed. Let's get our system up to pressure. So there it is, uh, maxed out at about 10,000 PSI. The system's settling in here, so the gauge is moving down slightly, but we're at about 9,000 PSI. So let's give this just a quarter turn, and boom, you see the pressure drain out of the system, and when I go to disconnect the coupler, it drops right down to zero. So now, the disconnect this time, super easy, comes right off, no wasted grease, no mess to clean up, much, much easier than the alternative. Last thing to do is to close up our valve here. So twist that down and you're ready to go on to your next grease fitting. That is the Lock & Lube pressure return valve in action.